today I'm at Disney for the first time ever and I'm testing out the Canon PowerShot V10. The folks over at Canon have dropped a brand new camera designed for vloggers. This cute little camera fits in the palm of your hand and it has a flip screen and a kickstand. Is this a paid advertisement? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Everything in this video is shot on the Canon V10 or on the iPhone 13 mini using the back cameras. And I haven't adjusted any of the colors or any of the audio. Let's start with the lens on this camera. The Canon V10 is an 18 millimeter lens with a 2.8 aperture. The V10 allows you to digitally crop into the video you're shooting. Here's the lens a little bit cropped in, a little more cropped in, more cropped in, even more cropped in. And in comparison, here's the iPhone 13 mini on the wide at 26 millimeters and the ultra wide at 13 millimeters. The focus on the V10 seemed pretty snappy and locked onto whatever face was in frame pretty quickly. It was only in lower light situations that the focus was not amazing. And when the camera was turned away from a face, the focus seemed to have locked onto a face and didn't try to refocus on the background. So when I switched back to my face, the focus seemed to already be set. This is what the camera looks like with image stabilization off just regular walking. Here it is with image stabilization on. It looks like it crops in just a little bit. And this is with enhanced turned on. You can see it's cropped in quite a significant amount. The V10 has a handy dandy, unique little kickstand that can fold out so that you can set the camera down on almost anything. No need to bring around a bulky tripod. I actually have a slim tripod for the back of my phone as well. And this one is from Peak Design and it just magnets to the back of the phone. So let's check out the angles that both these cameras give us from their kickstands. What was the last Disney movie you saw? Is Emperor's New Groove Disney? That was the last movie that I saw. I'm, I also don't even know if I'm a rides fan. I haven't been on a ride in years. I'm excited. What happens on this ride? We just get taken around in the dark. The bottom of the V10 has a quarter 20 mount, which means that it can be mounted to any tripod, or in my case today, to a leash, so that I'm not dropping this camera on any of these wild rides. I think it was good to be at the front, because I could see everything coming. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, on the outside of this camera, there's a place to add an external mic or lapel, giving you the opportunity to get better audio or step away from the camera and still be heard. I put a wireless mic on Zandli, and this is what it sounded like. Ride. Yeah, it sounds like it. Your TikToks or reels about the free breakfast at St. <laughs> oh, it was amazing. Yeah. Brought me so much life. Yeah, hey, I love that you hold it like you're holding your phone, like you're storying, but it films like a YouTube video. And I like how tiny and sleek it is. So I see you can like see yourself. I do like how tiny it is. That's Oh, I wasn't even recording. So after using the camera now for a couple hours, it's I find it kind of strange having the record button right on the front. It's kind of nice when you're filming yourself. However, when you're using the back, it's kind of tricky to press the back button. It almost feels like it should be on the side. But when you're using the phone, you have this button here, and you can also use these side buttons. However, if you press this one, it's just gonna stop your recording entirely. With the record button being right on the front, I must have hit record a couple times without even noticing because I found a lot of long clips that I didn't mean to film. It's inevitable that having a small camera that goes in and out of your pocket means that your oily, nasty little fingers are gonna be touching the lenses. I found that if you're not wiping the lens that often, the footage looks pretty nasty when you're shooting into the light. So if you wanna do the Star Wars ride, Minimally, minimally two hours of investment. Yeah. But so far the experience has been great. What do you think? What? She'll learn how to vlog one day. Transport is ready. Nine nominees shall personally see them delivered. Roger, this is Black Leader. Leader. I hear you're a fine. First order of TIE fighters. So we're a few rides in and I'm not as sick as I thought I would be. Maybe I can do more of these rides than I expected. So somehow when handling the camera, I also accidentally turned on these picture profiles and it adds a heavy filter to your footage. They're built in and they're kind of like LUTs or filters for your camera. You can be the judge if you think they're great or not. I will say that there is no way to adjust the intensity of the filters. So I'm so glad we're here with people who have done this before because I'm completely lost and I have no idea where we're going. 
Dole Whip. You may be wondering what that weird blob on the side of the screen is, and that is a cable that I plugged into the side of the Canon V10, and I didn't notice until now that it got in the way of all of these shots. I started the day with a full battery, but I couldn't keep this camera juiced up for the life of me. I don't know what was going on. It wasn't that hot out, and I wasn't shooting that much. This camera would just not stay alive. The battery is internal, and you can plug it into the wall with a USB-C cable to charge it, or bring around a power bank like I did. This is my nightmare. What? My camera's dying and I'm on a small world. We're about to ride Pirates of the Caribbean, or Caribbean, however you pronounce it. This is one of the most iconic and well-loved rides in Disney World. Okay, this is gonna be our low light test. Turns out that most of the rides at Disneyland are pretty dark. So we're in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, and this is some side-by-side -side footage of my phone with its main camera versus the Canon V10. I didn't brighten any of these up or darken them. These are straight out of camera. I'm feeding you by a lot. Mission accomplished, Space Rangers. <laughs> Mission accomplished. How'd you do? No. Yeah, that's at 117. Dude, these fingers are <laughs> magic makers. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm doing all these rides. <laughs> and you said you're having fun. Yeah, I'm not a rides person. This is amazing. Here's some footage from the day where I was going from darker areas to lighter areas to see if and when the ND filter would kick in and how quickly, as well as a way to see the dynamic range of this camera. Where are we going? A couple other things about this camera. I had a SanDisk Extreme micro SD card in the V10 but I guess it wasn't fast enough to record the higher quality formats that the camera offers. The menus on this camera are pretty familiar if you've used a Canon camera before, and there should be no surprises. I also played with the slow motion on this camera versus the iPhone, and here's how it looked. And if you don't know John Sweet, you need to meet this guy. The two of you will be best friends by the end of the day. This camera also takes pictures. I don't think it's meant to be a photo first camera, but I think these photos are passable if you need a photo in a pinch. The photos are captured in JPEG, not in RAW. Something to keep in mind. If you want to review the videos from the V10 on your phone instead of the back of the screen, you can use the Canon Connect app and quickly and easily connect to your phone. However, you do need to transfer the videos from the camera to your phone in order to actually review them. This is what the camera looks like with image stabilization off. So I spent 24 hours using the Canon V10 and I'm aware that I didn't test every single file format and every single thing that the camera offers, but I did my best to use it how I think I would use it on a normal day of filming myself. If you're interested in purchasing the Canon V10, my goal was to give you some sample footage from a bunch of different scenarios as well as my experience for the day. I think it's pretty safe to say that we all have a cell phone in our pocket with a pretty decent camera. And so if you're gonna be purchasing an additional camera to carry around, the features on that should be better than your cell phone. I'm not saying that the Canon V10 isn't, but it's the end of the video and I hope I've provided you with enough information to make that decision for yourself. My name's Davey. Thank you for hanging out with me for a couple minutes for my first visit to Disneyland and we'll see you in next week's video.